What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to properly package video games to ship whether or not you sell them on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Regardless of how you are gonna be selling your video game, there's a right way and a wrong way to ship them. Now this is for any kind of media, so uh, you can do video games, movies, CDs, literally anything that is a media disc or something similar you should be shipping them in pretty much the same way. So what you're going to need is obviously scissors to cut your bubble wrap. You're gonna need the small bubble wrap and you're gonna need one piece to cut the exact size of the uh, item that you're gonna be shipping. So the video game to be able to fold it around it without too much overhang. You are gonna need a little piece of scrap um, and I'll be showing you why in a minute a bubble mailer. This is the way that I ship video games if I sell them singular. Now if I'm going to be selling them, I think I shipped six to Toronto maybe at the time, maybe six months ago, um, and I packaged them up the same way I'm going to be showing you guys in this video, but I put them in a Canada Post uh, flat rate box and shipped it that way, but I still packaged them all up the same way. And painter's tape. You can use any tape, but this is easier for the buyer to remove, to be able to remove the bubble wrap, it's easier just to use the painter's tape, the same stuff I use for shipping hockey cards. So the first step is to go and with your game, you're going to open it up. Now I've already done this and that is to go and make sure the game works and clean the game. So I've already done this on this game a while back. Whenever I buy video games to sell on eBay or Facebook Marketplace, I always try to clean them up and I don't buy them if they're too scratched. Now what you're gonna do with your small little leftover piece, you're just gonna fold it in half and you're gonna put it right over the top of the holder and you're gonna close the case, just like that. So now you don't even hear the disc moving around and it minimizes the risk of the disc dislodging from the holder inside and the disc bouncing around in the case during transits. I always do this, this is the safest thing to do. Now, whenever I bought stuff from eBay before, a lot of sellers don't do that. And I've had a lot of discs that no longer work because when they're bouncing around in transit, a lot of scratches were made. The disc doesn't work anymore. So I always do this to basically cover my butt but you want to ship your games or media safely and that's the way to do it. If you don't have a little leftover bubble wrap, you can use a Kleenex, paper towel, just a piece of paper crunched up, literally anything just to soften inside to uh, clear out any of the dead space that is inside and basically push against the CD so it doesn't move around. You don't even hear it rattling in there like you normally would if that was not in there. So now the next thing you're gonna want to do with your bubble wrap, I already have this cut to the exact size that I need. Now you want it to be able to wrap around the video game, but you don't want too much overhang. A little bit's okay, but you don't want too much. So I'm gonna take it here and you want it bubble side facing up because you want to protect the item that you're gonna be shipping and not it protecting whatever it may bounce around and hit. So you're literally gonna take it, I always put it upside down here, and then with a little piece of tape, the green painter's tape, you're going to fold up the ends like so, and you're just gonna tape it off here just like that. So the green painter's tape is so easy to remove that the buyer is not gonna have a hard time getting it off whenever they try to open up their game. I usually put a couple pieces along the seam here because I don't want it to open up. And then the next step is to fold up the ends and tape them as well. So you're gonna just fold up the ends, put a piece of tape here, and you're gonna do that for the other side here and then two on the other end. Now, as you guys can probably tell, I did do an extremely sloppy job with this because I wanted to try to do it as fast as I could for the purpose of this video. But if I was actually going to be shipping this item, I wouldn't want as much overhang as I left here. I probably would have trimmed it a lot closer and I would have made it a lot more neat and tidy for the buyer so it looks like it's really nicely done. But there's the video game there. That is the side that you want to uh, basically have. That's why you face it upside down. So you have the front cover of the game peeking through the bubble wrap that is untaped and untouched. 
at the front. So whenever they receive it, they know they can just open it up and play the video game. So that is how you package up the uh, video game or any other media that you are going to be selling. Now, like I said, if I was shipping more than six of these, I'd probably just put them in a flat rate shipping box. That's super easy to do. But if you're selling them individual, you would simply take a bubble mailer that is the correct size and you will put it in that that way. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be asked, why would you bother bubble wrapping it and then putting it in a bubble mailer just to have added protection for this so that way I know just like a peace of mind for myself, I know that this is going to arrive to the buyer safely and it's not going to be damaged whatsoever. I know there is bubble wrap in this, but I want to bubble wrap it myself and put the little piece of bubble wrap inside so it doesn't bounce around. That way I know it's done right and it's going to be arriving to them safely. So now with your bubble mailer, you're going to want to write the return address and the address it's going to on it before you put the video game in. That way it's super easy. Once you put the video game in, it's a little bit bulkier. It's harder to write on these. So just going to flip it over here and you're going to take your video game. You're going to slowly open it up and try and, and slowly push in. Now this is the exact size that I use for any of my video games that I sell. You're going to want to just push it in slowly. That way it doesn't buckle and bend. And like I said, some of the overhang, I put too much overhang for uh, just the purpose of this video. I wouldn't normally put this much overhang of the bubble wrap. There we go, the video game is now inside. So with the address already on it, you can see if I, had, if I hadn't have done that and I had to write it on now, it'd be a little bit hard because there is buckles in it. But literally you would just take this off, fold it, take this to the post office and ship it. Shipping a single video game within Canada only costs, if it fits through the slots, around $2 to ship. So I'll literally put two stamps on it myself. I won't have to go in the post office and deal with them. I'll just put two stamps on it and basically hand it to them and it's done. If it's going to the US, it costs I think $3 or $3.50. Now if it doesn't fit through the slots, going to the US costs around $5. And at that point, if I know it's a little bit bulkier, I would just take it into the Canada Post myself and I won't put my own stamps on it. But if it's just going to, um, Somewhere within Canada, likely I'll just put my own stamps on it. So this is how to ship video games, whether or not you're selling them on eBay or uh, you made a deal with somebody on Facebook Marketplace or other sites. This is how to package them up safely so they arrive to the buyer safe, secured, and not broken. There's not going to be any damage on the case. The disc is secured inside with that little piece of bubble wrap. It really does make a difference. That game is not going to be bouncing around inside the case anymore. So it's double protected. It's in a bubble mailer. I wrapped it with bubble wrap and the game is secured inside with that piece of bubble wrap that I put inside. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on how to ship video games and how to properly package them before shipping them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.